Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So today we are entering the Mountains of Despair on the oh-so-hard difficulty, showing off just how much these ch puzzles will have changed. Let's go for it. The puzzles are going to be significantly more difficult this time around. Throughout these gloomy mountains, Strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. Hmm, things are looking a bit different this time around. The Lion Slayer, level 2. The stone lion requires a certain order from the Zumbinis before they can pass. To move the lion's paw, the Zumbinis must be grouped together and sorted by one attribute, such as nose hair. The symbols on the wall next to the lion give clues as to what sort of feature the Zumbinis have to be sorted by. However, some have eroded over time. For example, colored noses on the wall are hints to line up the Zumbinis by color of nose in that order that they appear on the wall, but some colored noses will be missing. So as you can see, we've got the colors, but we only have two. Blue and purple. So I believe blue are going to be in the back. Excellent. So all blue noses go in the back, and from the looks of it, purple are going to be in the front. Nope. Alright, so purple are not going to be in the front. Let's see what's going to be behind the, or in front of the blues. It will be green? Yes. So blue in the back, then green. Then let's try orange. Nope. Oh, oh, I'm dumb. I forgot the extra green. Yeah, that was dumb of me. Alright. So now it's going to be purple in front of them. And thankfully you get an extra peg. And then red noses in the front. So that one's not too bad. It's just you're well, gonna you're gonna have to guess a little bit. You're gonna have to guess a little bit, but it's still relatively easy. Aw, that guy looks like my pet cat, basically. It's very cute. <laughs> Use the crystal filters to change the Zumbini's reflection. It will give them crystal slamming protection. This is the one I've been looking forward to, because this one, I believe, has changed pretty drastically from the last difficulty. And indeed it has. As you can see, there's quite a few more mirrors here. Let's see what that's all about. Mirror Machine, level 2. The Mirror Machine requires matching reflections in the center crystal before allowing Zumbinis to pass. Notice how the images of your Zumbinis and the reflections on the other side change as they pass through the filters. For example, a filter with shaggy hair will transform ponytail hair of a Zumbini to shaggy hair. When you're ready, place a Zumbini on the cart and the correct filter on the opposite end, and then click the lever. If the projected images are identical in the center crystal, the Zumbini will pass to the other side. If not, the Zumbini will be knocked back to the Shade Tree base camp. Click on the lever again to clear the images and continue playing. So it's kind of the same as last time, where you've got the one Zumbini you got to put here, and then the one picture you got to put here. However, you need to pay close attention to these crystal filters. However, in some ways, this can almost be easier. So it's essentially nice to just look at the filters and note how they're going to change the Zumbini. On this side, it's going to change them into a bushy, uh, spiky-haired cyclops with a propeller. So the nose is the only thing that matters. And on this side, the crystal filter will change it to a blue nose. Because the nose is the only thing that's going to actually stay constant at the Zumbini, all we need is a Zumbini with a blue nose. So let's do her. Then on this side, we're going to need somebody with sh uh, spiky hair and a propeller, because those are the ones that are going to get projected on this side. That guy is the only one who fits the bill, so that is going to be the right one. So this one adds quite a bit more... Uh, Quite a more com bit more complexity to the puzzle. Okay, so then on this side we've got the filters are going to change it first into a bald tuft hair, but then into green hat hair. Uh, the eyes are going to remain the same, and then purple nose and pink sh uh, shoes. So all we need to worry about are the eyes on this side. 
Likewise, on this side, we're going to get uh, green hat hair and the pink shoes. So we need somebody with a purple nose and the same eyes as over here. There's only uh, there are three different guys over here. One with normal eyes and two with sleepy eyes. Let's pick the normal eyes guy. So all we need is on this side is somebody with normal eyes. That guy fits the bill. So let's pull the lever. And that's what you're going to look like in the future. So this is interesting. All right, on this side, we're going to need somebody with a spring because that's the only thing that doesn't get uh, changed. And there's a spring changed on that side. So you are going to fit the bill. But on this side, we're going to need someone with spiky hair, glasses, and a blue nose. You fit the bill, so let's do it. You're going to get a blue nose in the future. He's like, oh, OK. All right, pink shoes, orange nose, green hat hair. Green hat, hair, and orange nose, that's the one. Now on this side, we need somebody with normal eyes. Once you get good at reading the filters, this one's not too bad. And in ways, it's almost easier than the previous difficulty, because you don't have to look super closely. All right, on this side, we need someone with a bowl cut and glasses. Then on this side, we're going to need someone with roller skates and a green nose, because that's what the reflection has. Roller skates and a green nose, you are the one. Alright, we're going to need someone with red nose and bald head tuft. Then on this side, we're going to need someone with glasses and a spring. You're going to go bald in the future, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, it's okay to scream at that news. Alright, on this side, we need someone with a bald head. Then on this side, we're going to need someone with sunglasses and a blue nose. And hey, we also needed a bicycle. And if, if this guy was the only guy with the sunglasses and a blue nose and he didn't have a bicycle, we would have to find a different filter for this side. For example, this guy. Hey man, you're going to go bald in the future. Hope you don't mind. Alright, the feet is already taken care of. We need somebody with a ponytail on this side. And then whoever on this side is going to have to have the same eyes and nose as whoever the ponytail lady we pick over here is. Well, it can't be even one with a green nose because we don't have anybody on... Oh wait, never mind, I'm dumb. So out of the green noses, we have guys with glasses. So these ponytail guys are out. So this is the only ponytail we have. Now we need somebody with glasses and an orange nose. This guy fits the bill. Hey man, you're gonna get a sweet ponytail wig, and you're gonna be able to fly in the future. Alright, on this side, sleepy eyes. On this side, pink shoes and that hair. This is the only lady on this side who fits the bill. So now on this side, we're gonna need someone with sleepy eyes and a purple nose. Lady, you're gonna get an extra eye, but you're always going to be tired. <laughs> Okay, bowl cut on that side. We have two guys with bowl cuts on this side. Excellent. We're also going to need someone with normal eyes over here. She's the only one who fits the bill. So bowl cut and a bicycle. You're the only guy who fits the bill. So it's a pretty cool puzzle, this one, actually. Okay, we need any old bald guy on this side. And then on this side, we're going to need someone with glasses and a bicycle. Just the important thing to remember is that when there's multiple filters, you've got to remember the one closest to the crystal is going to be the one that actually ends up being shown on the crystal. So, for example, if you have green hat hair here and a bald tuft there, yes, it will turn into the bald tuft, but it will ultimately end up as green hat hair. And it gets even more complicated on the later difficulties. Alright, we need somebody over here with a sprain. That's it. And that is literally it. Then on this side, we need someone with sunglasses and a red nose. <laughs> you are perfect. You will remain exactly the same in the future. <laughs> she wanted to change. Alright. Miss Blue Nose, <laughs> you're the only person with a blue nose we have. Then on this side, we're going to need someone with a ponytail and a bicycle. Just to make sure. And one thing you can do before pulling the lever, you can check. So hair doesn't get changed, so ponytail on that side. Hair doesn't get changed, ponytail on that side. Glasses, glasses, blue nose, blue nose, bicycle, bicycle. 
If you check each feature, and you do it properly, you will make sure you never accidentally pull the lever on the wrong Zumbini. Oh, it can literally be any Zumbini on that side. Sweet. Literally any Zumbini. And then on this side, feet and green hat hair. Alright, on this side, you must be it, because we need spiky hair and a bow tie. And on this side, we're going to need someone with a green nose and normal eyes. Just take off your glasses, man. You don't need them. <laughs> He's like, whoa! <laughs> Alright, you're the last guy here. So we need somebody on this side with glasses and red nose. You're gonna get feet. You got them all through! Good for you! Thank you. That one was... That one takes a while. The mirror machine always takes Search a while. first for traps. So easy to miss. To get Zumbinis across Bubble Wonder Abyss. Bubble Wonder Abyss is one of those levels that just gets insanely hard eventually. Every difficulty rank jumps up the difficulty pretty drastically. I guess this one doesn't look too much more complicated. Bubble Wonder Abyss, level 2. The Zubinis are seeking a way across Bubble Wonder Abyss. Directional arrows and Zubini features will tell you a direction a Zubini will move in. For example, a Zubinis will move in the direction the white arrow is pointing. If a square displays an arrow with a symbol of a Zubini feature, such as a red nose, any Zubini matching that feature will travel in the direction of the arrow. Those that do not match continue in their original direction. Be aware that some arrows change direction once a Zubini has passed over it. Also notice that colored arrows will change when a Zubini passes over a colored grid and triggers it. Plan ahead and sort Zumbinis before sending them on their way. The order is important. So this one actually doesn't have any colored triggers, which is interesting, but they're just prepping us for the later difficulties. So taking a look, if we send Zumbinis to the right, they'll go up, and then this way, and then down, and then only people with green hat hair will be able to move on, and then they'll go up. But notice there's some overlap here. So if we send Zumbinis just as quickly as possible, they could very well end up bumping into each other, and then causing them both to die. So all green hat hairs go over here, but we're going to space them out a little bit. Oh, that was even a little too close for comfort. If I had sent them as fast as possible, they would have collided with each other. So that's one thing you've really got to watch out for on these later difficulties. I like this. This is basically saying ladies first. Alright, so they're going on their merry way. So that's all the green hat hairs taken care of. Now let's go down this path. If we go for this arrow, one Zumini is going to go up. And then if they're green hat hair, they're going to fly into the vortex. And if they go down, and again, they're green hat hair, they're going to fly into the vortex. If they go up and get past that, bull cuts are going to fly into the vortex. Otherwise, spiky hair guys are going to go into the vortex. So we're going to want a spiky hair to go up, then bull cut, then spiky hair, then bull cut, and... Alright, cool. Excellent. They look like they're having a gay old time. And next to you. So that takes care of all our bowl cuts, but we still have a lot of spiky-haired guys left. So now we just have to alternate spiky-haired guy, not spiky-haired guy. Spiky-haired guy, not spiky-haired guy. It's pretty simple. But again, just you want to space it out, just in case. Because as you can see, they both converge at the same part. So if we rapid-fire these Zumbinis through, they very well could hit each other. And we really don't want that. We can send these first two guys really close together, but then after that we should probably hold off a little bit before sending the next guys, because the lower path is so much longer than the upper path. Oh yep, we have just enough spiky-haired guys that we can barely make it through. Then we 
gets in the last guy up. Okay, so that one is more or less just like the original difficulty. The only difference is it's a bit more, uh, it's a bit longer, and there's more overlap in the actual puzzle, so you've got to be careful spacing your guys out. But besides that, it's more or less the same puzzle, which is nice. But trust me, once we get to very hard difficulty, this level is going to change drastically. And then when you get to very, very hard, you're going to probably faint after seeing what this puzzle is going to be like. You did it! You saved them all! Yay! Is this it? Could this be the place they've been seeking? A place of hope and prosperity? Zumbinevil! Yay! The way that guy says Zumbinevil is just wonderful. <laughs> And hey, 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 we got a new log cabin here. Let's see. The bowling alley honors the Zumbinis who overcame their fear in the lion's lair, had fiends go find in the mirror machine, and rode a wondrous bubble ship when traveling was oh so hard. April 6th, 2018. So we're actually filling up Zumbiniville with quite a few buildings, which is pretty nice. I like that. And as you can see, through uh, me off screen, we are now up to Oh So Hard in the Deep Dark Forest. That's where we'll be going in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm ColorfulRD. I hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.